Way down in southeast Georgia along the coast, hidden back in the woods, you can find this sanctuary, a place that takes in animals that are retired or maybe haven't had the best life. We get our animals um, because they're retired, because they're abused, um, because they're neglected, or they're just simply abandoned. Um, and we try to provide this as a forever home. Uh, we don't readopt them out. They um, are here to just live out a happy life. The farm started out with just one horse and two cows, but has grown quite a bit. Today, the farm is home to 11 horses, two cows, four goats, and 14 cats. The farm was started by Barbara Murrah uh, about 14 years ago. She moved back to St. Simons. Um, she had grown up here. And this was family land that she leased to um, a riding stable. And once she got back, she started adopting um, animals that needed to be uh, rescued. She kept adopting more and more animals that needed help until she had to do something to help keep them up. In 2012, because the farm had gotten so large with so many animals, um, we incorporated into uh, a nonprofit charity, uh, and that's how we are today. All of our funding is um, donations. Uh, we're 100% funded. As far as manpower, they have regular volunteers that help take care of the animals and property doing whatever needs to be done. We have a variety of volunteers. Um, some of them are like me and they work full time and I work with all the animals, whatever needs to be done. And to try and raise awareness of the farm and even possibly get others involved with donating or volunteering, they let people come out to the farm for visits. We have an open house and we invite families to come out and let their children um, see animals that sometimes um, people don't see anymore. And they're allowed to pet the animals and um, um, just go around and, and visit with them. They're trying as hard as they can to keep the farm alive, as well as the memory of Barbara, who sadly passed away back in 2013 after battling cancer for a short period of time. We um, all knew her and loved her and, and we miss her every day. And we um, continue the farm um, as a legacy for her and that's our mission is just to keep our animals happy. And taking good care of the animals and making sure they're happy isn't hard at all. Taking care of animals has always been just my passion. Even as a little girl, um, I've always um, loved animals and always have a slew of animals around me. Um, and it makes you feel good because these animals are very trusting and, you know, they deserve a happy life. Reporting from St. Simons Island, I'm John Holcomb.